Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you are watching the station identification of one of Whalen City's resident YouTubers. Live in the basement, this is not MTV's remote control, and he is not Ken Ober, God rest Ken Ober's soul. This is WEML-TV, Channel 77, and now here's your host, New Bedford, Massachusetts' own Mr. Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, and you are watching, yes, another episode of WEML TV Channel 77. I am Eric Lehman, your fine host, and uh, when I say fine, I'm not uh, I'm not saying good looking, I'm just, just, you know, fine in personality and fine in heart and everything else in between. Um, before I get started on um, this little uh, this little package I got from Amazon, uh, as you can tell, the smiley face. Um, I know you guys probably saw me going crazy on uh, Hangman Charlie's podcast last night, the Outcast last night. One day we're picking on poor David and try and old trials and all that. You know, I figured out. You know, I want to bring. Um, I've always liked to bring something different to to the show. You know, they always talk about sex and all this crazy stuff and. Everything else, and they were talking about, you know, good movies, and they had debates about, you know, certain movies and all that. And it's fine. It's all fine and grand. But sometimes, you know, you you know, you know don't want to overdo it. And that's how I was trying to balance it out, you know. And I do apologize if I go a little bit on overboard because sometimes, I you know, I feel very sensitive. I'm sticking up for people like my good friend Jordan Little because he's been through a lot. And that's why, you know, it's like when you pick on people, it's always, oh, it's part of a bit or something like that. But sometimes if you overdo it or you get to, you know, you hit a, hit a sensitive mark... Sometimes you want to step in and say, okay, just got to ease it up a little bit. You know what I mean? And I was trying to do that. And even though it's their show and everything else, and I got to respect that wholeheartedly. And I think, I think, and, and I was, yeah. But sometimes we have to be very, very careful because we, you know, when we did the Rant and Rate podcast this past Tuesday, and, you know, Jordan made an Eddie Kingston joke about the botch with the, um, the exploding, um, uh, the exploding death match between Mox, John Moxley and Kenny Omega for the AEW World Heavyweight Championship. And um, Maddie did not take that too lightly, too kindly. Because she was talking... Now, I was want to say something about good about Eddie Kingston because, it's me, I say that... I also got nothing against Eddie Kingston. In fact, I respect the guy because after his matchup with Cody Rhodes for the TNT Championship, which he fell short on and earned the respect and earned himself a contract with AEW, uh, I... I've always, told, I've always likened him to like a be a streetwise Jake the Snake Roberts. I was about to tell her that, and I and I was about to tell her that Eddie's a good Eddie Kings is a good man to listen from because listen, you know, get advice from because he's been around a block. He, you know, he's to me he's like a streetwise Jake the Snake Roberts. But then Jordan cut in with the joke, and I try not to laugh, you know, because I was trying to be professional. But sometimes you want to go. Um, I don't think we should need to talk about that. Let's talk about Maddie, you know. But unfortunately, she did. I um, got out of the chat, I um, got out of the, the podcast, like, right away, and that was the first time that ever happened to us, basically. So, and but to Maddie Rick, Rankowski, um, uh, I'm very, very sorry that happened, and uh, we didn't mean to disrespect you, is that, you know, when, you know, we tried to act, uh, you know, when you, when I have, when I'm, you know, doing this, this is my first time interviewing wrestlers that you see on TV, and it's, it's like, okay, and I need to come up with good questions, and plus, you know, and I was trying to uh, do the NXT uh, watch NXT so I can do a recap or the event center. So I do apologize for that as well. I'm trying to look, you know, look down. I'm looking all over the place, and because I'm not totally professional, you know. Like I said before, we're not professionals. We're not perfect. But um, when it comes to wrestlers and when it comes to wrestlers and people when we interview, we got to be professional. We really do got to be professional though, and, and it's really hard to do when you're trying to um, multitask and everything. So. Um, I have some ideas of how we can go about, you know, when we interview wrestlers. I think each of us should have five questions tops. And, um, you know, five questions tops. I think that's that should be it, unless we have more. Unless, or it depends on how long the uh, our, interv uh, our interview subject wants to stay. And, I'm, you know, and I, I, was saying, I, I was nervous to interview Ricky Morton. I was nervous to interview Sabu. I talked to Tracy Taylor for a bit, which is uh, really, really cool also. And 
And I hope Maddie Renkowski does come back on the show. And I know Jordan apologized. I know Brandon uh, Martin apologized. I figured being the um, elder statesman of the uh, Rent and Rain po- podcast, and I should... I just want to start acting like the elder statesman of, of the group since I am the oldest of the of the, uh, the four co-hosts, the four hosts of the show. And Michael being the youngest at 21, Jordan second youngest, and Brandon, Brandon and, and myself. You know, I'm not saying I, I run, rant, and rave, but I'm trying to say I'm the el- I should be the elder statesman and and say we um, we sincerely apologize, Maddie uh, Rankowski, if you're watching this video. I don't know if you do. Uh, we didn't mean to disrespect you, and I know we're trying to make things lighthearted, and we're trying to make you feel comfortable. Unfortunately, that question made, um, that little joke that Jordan Little did made you feel uncomfortable, and we apologize for that. And I'm sure Jordan apologizes, and, you know, the guy's, you know, the guy's gone through a lot. And, you know, I hope, I just hope that we, you forgive us and come back to the show. We'll try it again this time, you know, because I never, you know, I try to, like, shy away from, like, you know, dramatic situations and botches when it comes to wrestling. And, you know, even, even if they want to share a laugh about it, you know, that's fine. Like, Ricky Morton, short, short, we had good laughs with him. And with Sabu, we were very respectful towards him. So, um, Maddie, we apo- we apologize. And I was going to ask Maddie of, if she ever watched uh, Miz and Mrs. Because I know the Miz is the biggest reality, you know. And if she's been to reality, uh, reality television... I say, uh, remember the original wrestling reality television, Tough Enough, and I remember there was one young lady that made a name for herself and in in the wrestling, and she used to be part of Tough Enough, even though she didn't win the contest. It was Melina, and I was going to say how, you know, I was going to ask her about Melina. Or I was going to ask her about Mickey James doing the executive, being an executive producer of an all-woman sh- uh, pay-per-view show for NWA, and if she called you and invited you, would you go? And would you like to take part in something like that? Because I think it'd be great for her, you know. So I try to try. To, try I'm trying to ask like I don't want to ask any dumb questions, too, you know. Or I don't want to go all Howard Stern like. So being part of a podcast, it's very, very different for me. And I'm trying to get used to everything and every and and everything. So I, you know, I know I would thank my good friend Thomas Willis to uh, help me out with that as well. And um. You know, they, they, they've asked me, my friends have asked me a couple of times to be part of the show. And then when I decided, well, I'll be a co-host and here I am, you know. I figured as the elder statesman, so to speak, of the Rant and Raid podcast, even though um, I have I have not been there a long time. But when I say elder statesman, I mean in age. Where I'm, I'm like, I'm like you know, I've been, I've seen a lot more stuff. I've seen a lot more things. I've seen a lot more shows and everything else. I'm a little bit experienced. Not in the podcast area, but in the in the pop culture era, and the area, the pop culture area. When it comes to wrestling, TV shows, you know, and all that, that's why I decided. Well, I feel like you know I should start stepping up as the elder statesman, you know, so to speak. And you know, people say, "Listen to your elders." Now I feel like I'm an elder, but I'm not an elder, so to speak. I don't look like one, but you know, we white beards and robes and say and say crazy proverbs and to the point where you know. That's why I decided to make, come up with the uh, new segment of my show called The Philosophies of Lee McLeese. You know, just, you know, so I, so again, Matty Rankowski, I, we, I do apologize on behalf of uh, Rant and Rave, um, behalf of Brandon, behalf of Jordan, behalf of Michael Mabardier, I do apologize as well. And I hope you forgive us and hopefully we like this to come, for you to come back on a future episode. And uh, we'll try it again and we'll try to be professional this time. All right. So, Matty Renkowski, my apologies to you. All right. So, that out of the way. Let's get going here. Is Cyber Swaggin number 27. Got another package. Back to back packages coming in from Amazon. But this time around, well, I'm going to rip it open like Hulk Hogan. Like, oh, no, 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 no. Never right idea. Always, kids, never run with scissors. Let's go. What did I get today? I don't know what I got, kids, but I'll, I'll find out for sure. That's enough. Okay. And uh, we're going to take a peek in here. Ah! This is a Bluetooth cassette player. I never had one of these. I never had Bluetooth anything, to tell you the truth. It's like a Bluetooth Walkman. And, uh, first and foremost, let me take a picture of the box. And this is what I do. Every time I get packages, 
out. So, uh oh. And, uh, so. All right, Stephen Horn sent me another. All right, give me a second, folks. I've always wanted to take a picture of the package that it comes in. And uh, so, here we go. There we go. I put it on silent just in case. Ah, and, uh, okay. Hmm. Huh. Ah, all right, all right, all right. So yeah, so this has been delivered. Let, let me show you the picture I was taking. I gotta charge up everything, eh, Paul? <laughs> uh, uh. All right. Okay. Okay, keep that charge. All right, this is what it looks like on the outside. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. And, ooh. Oh, I got, oh, wow, look at this. This is, all right, is regular headphones. And, hmm, I wonder this, what this is all about. So, this is what it looks like. Let's see. This is crazy, man. Ah, look at this. How cool is this? Um, no, that, that, wait, wait. How do we... Uh, how do you open this? Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. Totally cool. Uh, uh, oh, I almost, I almost uh, broke it. That's not cool. No. There we go. There we go. And, then, and uh, this is crazy. It has... It has, uh, you know, and you can automatically line it the direction you want to, you want to take it in. This is really, really cool. And uh, let's see what we got here. And I'll keep it in the box. Hmm. Hmm. You can transmit easy. Okay. Quick start guide. Bluetooth. Open the lid, slide down, open, slide down to open the lid, auxiliary port, audio output, the earphone or speaker, Bluetooth, any click flash, one time per second, search for a Bluetooth, slow flash, one time per two second inspection window, hmm, take a seat, and yep, the inspection window, D port, live VC, let's see, uh, is there any batteries in this thing? Hmm. 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 Oh. How do you... Hmm. That's crazy. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, my pin. Uh, contact one year two warranty. I know it doesn't. Come, I know it doesn't come in with hmm, with batteries. So how do I bloody do this? Oh, I hope I can find a way, man. So, hmm. so right now, okay. Wait, I got. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to keep the box and the instructions. I'll throw away the uh, extra crap. And this is what... Yeah, sorry about this, folks. It's uh, it's a little uh, complicated for the time being. <laughs> Alright. I think I'm supposed to charge this up. I think. This is, I think this is what it's going to charge up. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to freaking charge this up. And, let's see. Huh? These twister seals. I'm keeping them. You use for good use for something. All right, I think I'm going to. This is auxiliary volume. Um, okay, I 
got a thing. Oh, I see. Aha, I see. No, this, I thought it was... It is for the... Uh, oh, I can get a, find a plug. <laughs> you know something? Life is good when you're a freaking genius. Okay, I don't see it here. Life is good when you are a freaking genius. Now, I can charge... Hmm, where it is? Aha. Aha. Ding, ding. I think I got it. Aha. Look at this. You know... I would never thought I'd be a total genius in figuring this one out. Look at that. All I gotta do, look at that. Look at that. All I gotta do. I can even charge this up in the car, too. This is great. This is freaking great. This is freaking awesome. All right. This is freaking great. Uh, get this bad boy in there. My goodness. And this bad boy is the... Is the... Huh. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, boy. Huh. Uh, good luck. Ah, push your seal. I always love these things. <laughs> Alright, just... Uh, let's see. Get rid of that. Get rid of this crap. And and uh, there we go. And dunk that in for three. All right. But it looks like once I get this bad boy plugged in, we're gonna get. Look at this. And there, there we go. So this is what it looks like as a whole. Bluetooth. Blue will be Bluetoothing. Will be Bluetoothing. Yep, unbelievable, right? So this is gonna be great. A Bluetooth cassette player. It's a Walkman, a new modern day Walkman I can use. And uh, let's see if we can plug this bad boy in. And ah, uh, oh, here we go. See, it's flashing. I don't know if you can see it. It's flashing. It's flashing. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's flashing. All right. So, gonna leave that. We're gonna leave that to flash. We're gonna leave that to flash up there and have it charged up and we'll be ready to go. And I'll probably put some mixtapes in because it'll only be a matter of time, folks, when we do this. I'm keeping the box, by the way. And uh, before you know it, I'll be playing a cassette, and we'll probably listen to something from the Wayland City Festival if I end up going. I, I, I will end up going. I will end up going. It's like a lot of things have been happening around, and uh, all this good stuff. And we're just uh, we're just trying to uh, figure out everything. We always have a plan, a plan within a plan. Hopefully, um, nobody help, nobody forces me to screw up those plans. That's what I'm hoping. Hopefully, I don't screw it up. Screw up the plans myself. So we'll see what happens. Um, so that's all the time we have on this show, episode 290, um, uh, episode number 27 of Cyber Swagon. A little bit of an apology in the beginning, and, um, um, so we'll see what happens on end, okay? I want to thank everybody for tuning in to WEML-TV channel 77. I'm glad to be, uh, of your service, um, for you watching the videos. If you like this video or any other videos on my, on my channel, please Press subscribe. Press the, um, give give my give my videos a thumbs up. Ring the bell for notifications. And y'all be seeing you in the next episode, two ninety one. We're almost the road to three hundred, and we're almost there. All right. I'll see you later, guys. Have a wonderful day, and remember, bless out.